right, people. I'm your host, Full Circle 420. Welcome to another episode. Thank you for uh, another uh, YouTube a YouTube video right here. All right. The title of this um the title of this video is called Yellow by right, Tales from the Crypt. This actually Tales from the Crypt was the shit back in the day, dude. Shit, I never missed an episode, especially this one right here. He um that was a uh, Kurt, uh, what's his name? Um, that was one of Kirk Douglas's uh, sons that yeah, he unfortunately is no longer here with us. He um, he uh, did a suicide, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he had a lot of potential though. But let's get this part started with this Tales from Crypt called Yellow. <laughs> Oh, let me uh let me fast forward real quick. Let's get to the yellow. Eric Douglas, that was See, these were men back in the day. There wasn't none of that this crap going around like it is today. They had to do what they had to do. See, back in the day, the uh, special effects were like actually the shit for this back in the day. They have all that technology they do have now, but this this was a dope ass CG. You could tell, you could tell that one dude that was a fake hand that he had cause it was twisted and bent. Kind of funny. So when they did that shot, it just whoop, fell off. Whoop, whoop. That was a CGI back in the day. God damn. Ring Sergeant. Lieutenant Orzovich. 
Take that hill! The charge is stalled! What are you doing here, sir? What's that, Sergeant Ripper? You'll have to speak up! The Germans are shooting the crap out of us! Okay, this dude was a coward, man. Not the, not the actual guy, but the uh, character. I'm sorry, but yeah, he was a coward, though. Why everybody else is getting their life taken? I don't want to die! That is nothing but a beginning. Uh, that is a beginning to a long journey. And, I mean, it may, it may be fast for so, but that depends on the cosmic, you know, virtual thing. Or haven't you noticed? We should climb the hill! You want us to stop? No, I do not want the men to just stop. The Huns have zeroed in, they're cutting us to ribbons. I want you to order the men to retreat. I can't do that. The general ordered us to take that hill. I am telling you to retreat. Now do it! Our orders are to take the goddamn hill. Damn the orders and damn the general! We're the ones being shot and killed! Come on, Sergeant! Fire the flare! Okay, he was a coward, man. I'm like, dude, you don't ever, ever, ever admit defeat, dude. Seriously, that's not cool. Thank you, Sergeant. Take it out of the wounded! resources in his left flank, General. Spotters are reporting patrols massing here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Of course, he may be stealing a page from your book, sir, and feigning an attack. No, that's not von Furstenberg's style. If he's showing an attack there, that's where he intends to go. The son of a bitch always does it. I inspired that I. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold that, sir. Already, the Hun artillery positions are... Zeroing right in on our trenches. Any word from the line yet? No, sir. We should be reaching the top of Round Hill right about now. You think von Furstenberg will buy what we're selling him? I hope so, Captain. You see, if the Germans think we're going on the offensive, they may hesitate just long enough for us to regroup. Brilliant ploy, sir. If we can stay on that hill. Yes, Sergeant? What's the meaning of this? Begging the captain's pardon, sir. I thought the general should hear my report straight away. How do you, Sergeant? See you around. Thank you, sir. Well, how'd it go? I'm afraid the counterattack up the hill failed, sir. We never got there. Never got there? No, sir. We were forced to retreat. Retreat? Who ordered a retreat? Well, Sergeant? Lieutenant Calthrop, sir. Mm -mm. Lieutenant Calthrop? Are you saying my son ordered a retreat? Yes, sir. Okay, for you I don't know, a general outranks a lieutenant. Under no circumstances, they cannot counter a uh, man up there or orders, so you know what I'm saying? Come on now. A general outranks a lieutenant. That goes for the army, the air force, the marines. I mean, I don't give a what branch you're in. That's always gonna be a uh, a constant thing. That's like in the navy. A captain is the equivalent of a colonel in the army. You cannot take over the orders from that person, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. My men, sir, what's left of them are exhausted. General, if this is the case, we may have to concede this battle. Concede? I have never given up my entire life. Now, how will it look to the high command if we don't take that hill? Maybe we can try one more time. Uh, let's move B Company up here. 
Get me permanently on the line. The line's dead, General. Yeah. Probably the Germans, sir. They've been sending out patrols. Probably cut the line. Captain? See, look at Kirk Douglas. He looks like he was. He looked like he was in World War One. He wasn't. I mean, he was. Uh, he was a hundred years, like a hundred, two hundred, three years old when he died and shit. He looks like he was there, but he ain't that fucking. Well, he he might have been a little kid when that happened, but you know, what I'm saying I don't know. Have the lieutenant take the sergeant, a couple of wiremen, find the break and fix it. General, with respect, I don't think it's a good idea to send your son on that mission. Why is that? He's a section lieutenant, isn't he? I realize that, sir. But, Sergeant, tell him. Your son is a coward. Just say it. He's a coward. He's yellow. Yes, sir. The lieutenant, as you know, is my superior officer, sorry. Get to the point, Sergeant. Begging the general's pardon, sir. I don't know how to put. Just spit it out, man. He's yellow, sir. Get him in here. You want to see me? Have you forgotten how to report? Oh, I see. Lieutenant Martin Calthrob reporting as ordered, sir. Corporal. At ease. Is it true what the men are saying about you? It depends, sir. What are the men saying? They're saying, Lieutenant, that you're yellow. No, they're saying you're a cow. You're a bitch. You're a ugh. Ugh. My goodness. That you're a coward. The men can say what they like, sir. I don't really give a damn. I give a damn. That is your prerogative, sir. Is it true that you ordered Sergeant Ripper to signal a, a retreat this afternoon? Yes, sir. I saved the company. If we had continued up that hill, none of us would be alive now. There's no way we could have reached the objective. Lieutenant, the purpose of that attack was to pin the Germans down while the rest of the division fell back. Well, it's always one of those people that fuck up your plans. We fell back anyway. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? The difference is a lot of my men died with bullets in their backs. Would you have been happier if I had been one of them? You know that isn't true. I don't know. But I do know I can't kill anyone. And I certainly don't want to be killed. But you've got a job to do. Father, I don't want to be in the army anymore. I want a discharge. A discharge? Yes, sir. I can't do that. A discharge? Hell no, you can't do that shit. You should never join the army in the first fucking place if you didn't want to be. I don't want to be in the army no more. Dude, get your ass on. You can't do anything for me, can you? You never could. Don't you understand what you're asking would seriously undermine my command? What has that got to do with me? I'll tell you what it's got to do with you. First, you're going to assemble a patrol and lead it to the German lines. But I don't just. Don't interrupt. Second, there's a break in our communication cable out there. I want you to locate it and repair it. What? Sir, with all due respect, I will put together the patrol for you. But I am not going out there. I don't have to. I'm an officer. God damn it, it's because you're an officer that... The fuck you mean you ain't gonna do it? You gotta follow the orders, boy. You can't be in the army in, this, in those kind of orders, dog. What are you talking about? No, I will not do it. Are you talking shit to your colonel? What, what the fuck is going on here? So that's why I like this uh, episode right here. I'm like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, dog? But you must go. I can't. I won't. Martin, listen to me. I can't give you a discharge. 
But if you do this for me, if you lead this patrol, I'll transfer you to the rear to get you off the front lines. You're gonna transfer me? If you do this one thing for me, Sign of Corporal Mead. Corporal, did you find the break in the line? Yes, sir. About a hundred yards out. Just where that fence dog legs to the left. Did you see any Germans? They're all over the goddamn place, Lieutenant. You want my opinion? The Huns are up to something. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sons of bitches came at us tonight. Good work, Corporal. Good luck, sir. Okay, man, let's move out. See the break? Well, that, that sergeant's crucified on the wire. Yeah. Christ, the Germans have moved the lines for What? How do you know? I can smell them. Sergeant, I don't see the point of going on now. I mean, the break is obviously too close to the German line. I think we should go back. 50 yards ahead, sir. It's too close to the German lines, goddammit. We're going back. If your lieutenant is a coward, dude, you fucked. <laughs> you fucked, man. Like, dude. It's too far in the, in the general, uh, enemy camp, my dude. Like, dude, just go there and do that shit. Seem like a girl. That's why it's called the yellow. We gotta do this. You've gotta do this. We need you. Listen, why don't you stay here? Guard the rear, sir. Let the men and me go fix the cable. Someone's gotta cover us. Right. If you see any Huns, blow this. This thing is gonna give away my position. I okay. How long is this thing gonna take? Not more than a few minutes, sir. Once we find the break. Right. Make it quick. Blow the whistle. I'll hear it. And now this part kind of pissed me off. Just, just, just watch this.
Corporal. How's that repair patrol coming? Don't know, sir. Can't see a thing. Let me have a look. I guess the liquid currents didn't do shit for him. He's still, still a wuss. I wish they knew about weed back in the day. I mean, it existed, but they didn't, you know, make good use for it. So, you know what I'm saying? I wish people back in the day didn't, you know, Believe bullshit. What is we saying about that? No report from the patrol yet, huh? Still dead, sir. God damn it. Wow, you didn't even blow the motherfucking window. I went on um, wimp whistle. Why you didn't do that shit? Why why did you do that shit? It, all this shit could have been avoided if you just would have blew the goddamn whistle. After an American You didn't even help the own people. You didn't even help when I help the own people. <sighs> That's some bullshit. You were supposed to water. Why didn't you blow the whistle? You were supposed to water. Why didn't you warn us? <laughs> Can't see a bloody thing out there. <coughs> Sounded like a couple of German grenades going off, a shotgun blast, Mauser's. Jesus. Lieutenant, what happened? Germans everywhere. They ambushed us. Ripper and the others, they're all dead. Corporal, got a stretcher patrol together. Perhaps they're only wounded. Yes, sir. No, they're dead, for Christ's sake. I saw them die. The, the goddamn Germans, they're everywhere. Now, that's a coward move right there. He pretty much, he blamed the enemy for some bullshit that he couldn't do. Or some shit that he was supposed to do. Like, why, if you see the enemy, why do you warn your own people about that shit? Huh. Where? Where's the general? Oh, they were waiting for us. The German patrol. It was an ambush. An ambush, huh? Yes, sir. I tried to save the men, sir. I shot as many of those goddamn Germans as I could. I just kept firing and firing. I... I, uh... Barely made it back here alive. Did all you could, Lieutenant. That's all I can ask. And now do you know why I had to send you out there again? I couldn't let those men think you were a coward. 
How could I ask of them when I couldn't ask of my own son? But now you've shown them what you're made of. You've shown me. Damn. He's gonna break his heart. When you find out your fucking son was a fucking coward. Thank you, sir. You're still gonna transfer me out of here, though, aren't you? Of course I will. I always keep my word to my men. And now no one can ever call you a coward again. I'm proud of you, son. Easy, Sergeant. Easy, Sergeant. Easy. What the hell is going on here? You yellow bastard. Get the medics. They're on the way, sir. No. He could have warned us, but he didn't. He's yellow. Martin, is this true? No, sir. Look, the, the sergeant's obviously just. Dude, this man had his last breath. Called you a motherfucking coward. Now, you know he was telling the truth. Delirious. This is a coward. He gave the Germans his own men. That is a goddamn lie, sir. I told you I shot the. I'm sorry. Anybody that's dying and doing a declaration never lies. Germans, you're a liar. You left me to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that was his last breath. He called you a fucking coward. Fucking yellow. God damn. Now you know he's telling the truth. He, he, his last breath, he called you a coward. Medics, see to the sergeant's remains. Sir, I'm telling you the truth. I killed those Germans. Besides, it's his word against mine, right? The lieutenant does have a point there, sir. Is that the weapon you use to shoot the Germans? Uh, yes, sir. Never been fired. Uh, arrest this man. Exactly. Arrest that motherfucker. Oh, coward ass dude. He never even shot his fucking gun. He was trying to cover some shit. He would have said, he should have said, was, man, I had, really, I had to use one of the enemy's guns and to shoot him with that. I think. Man, if he was trying to, he was trying to, um, uh, Say, if Ace could have said that, why would it necessary? But you couldn't lie this time. Because you're, yeah, 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 love. The man's last breath told his told the truth. And that was the most uh, sober, uh, sober thing he ever did. Please come with me, Lieutenant. I'm your son. Let's go to the provost. Yes, sir. You can't do this. Captain. I'm your son. I'll notify my officers to report to the church. Court Marshal Lieutenant Calthrub will commence in one hour. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. This um cowardice is actually death. I mean he, he had to put his own son in a trial. Like, dude, nobody is a bit to law. I don't give a damn if you are his son. <laughs> the colonel son. You're not you're not above this shit either. Captain, has the court reached a verdict? Yes, sir. We have. The cues will rise.
tribunal finds the accused, Lieutenant Martin Kalfrob, guilty as charged with dereliction of duty, desertion under fire, and cowardice in the face of the enemy. Damn. According to the dictates of military law, it is my duty as the commander of this division to inform you, Lieutenant Calthrob, that you've been found guilty of the charges lodged against you. The penalty for this crime is death by firing squad. What did I tell you? I mean, he kind of deserved it. I mean, if he was a, that was a real soldier, he would have. First of all, that would never be. That would have probably never been together in the first place. That's nepotism. You don't ever put your child over. You never put like your child in the same command as you are. But yeah, you fucked up on this one. There is, uh, all that shit, yeah, that's death right there in the military trial. He has to learn. He learned something that day. He learned that no one is above the above the law. It doesn't give a damn if your father was a colonel, general, or something. Night of our imminent pullback. Sentence will be carried out at sunrise. Thank you, gentlemen. Captain, select a firing squad of six men and have them report here at 0600. Take away the prisoner's shoelaces. I don't want him hanging himself. You're a disgrace to your uniform. I never wanted to wear it. You wanted me to. Brave now, huh? You're brave. Yeah, you're brave, but yeah, you're not brave enough to shoot shoot the enemy, right? Yeah, death is just a it's just a begin it's a, it's just a release of outside your way of your way. General Perhaps you should think about this. Nothing to think about. Well, I mean, with respect, sir, aren't you being a bit hasty? I won't have cowards in my army. Real shit. No cowards in, in his uh, army. Look, it's bad enough that, uh, look, okay, it's bad enough that he's a coward, he's yellow, he's this, that, the other. But come on, man. You can't be doing that shit. There's not one, one branch will allow you to do that bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Like I said, like, like he said, that's some coward shit. brings you down here. Oh, you don't mind me calling your father, do you? Well, let's see. You already got my shoelaces. Oh, Captain Milligan came and took away my belt. I told him he was wasting his time. I mean, I'm here because I'm afraid to die. <laughs> I don't think he saw the joke, Father. Martin, this isn't easy for me. Oh, it didn't look too terribly difficult condemning me to death. The panel found you guilty. 
I had no choice. Now, I had no choice. All my life, everything I've ever done was to make you happy, to please you. I wasted my whole life. I went to military school. I went to West Point. And now, this. And all I ever wanted from you was just a little pat on the back. That's all. Pat on the back? Is that all you ever wanted? It would have been a beginning. Can I let you in on a little secret, General? You were not much of a father. That makes us even, son. You weren't much of a lieutenant. Why? Because I'm afraid to die? Christ, 200 men. You see, <clears throat> you should, should never say that shit out loud. Always keep it in. Dude, you're afraid to die. What are you, you afraid of? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, seriously. And leave the trenches. And 30 of them, they come back. Arms missing, legs missing. Anybody who goes out there and says they're not afraid are either a fool or a liar. But you let fear get the better of you, and everybody knows it. That is what I'm really guilty of, isn't it, Father? Huh? That the whole world knows that the son of the great General Calthrop is afraid to die. Well, I am afraid to die. Then this is where he became up with that good plan right here. Martin, you're right. I haven't been much of a father to you. And I wasn't around most of the time. And when I was young, I never saw much of my father, but that's the way it is in military families. And all I ever wanted from you or for you was to see you follow the line, but I was wrong. I see that now. I was wrong to force you into that mold, and I'm sorry. Well, it's a little late for you to be thinking about that. In about an hour, I'm gonna die. No. It's not too late. See, his brain was working right now. Yeah. They're like, so basically, what he did, well, I, I'll, let you, I'll let you see it. You're not going to die. What? You think I'd kill my own son? Come on, listen to me. There's always a blank in one of the rifles in the firing squad. It's a question of doubt as to who fired the fatal shots. And I'm the one who loads the rifles. This time, I'll load them all in blanks. When the squad fires, I want you to pretend you're dead. The division will be moving out almost immediately. I've already issued orders. Listen to me. I'll make up a pact for you. No okay, this is the plan that he's... Cut that this man's mind though. Watch. Identity card, some money, rations. I'll put it in the ditch where you fall. As soon as the company moves out, you take off. You understand? You really gonna do that for me? Sure. Oh, but there's one thing I want you to do. Any, any. Face that firing squad like a man. I want you to show them that you have courage. Show them that you're not afraid. You can do that. Can't you, son? Yes, sir.
like a nice day to die, Father. There's a plot twist in here. In the name of the American people, the American Expeditionary Force, the 101st Infantry Regiment, having been found guilty of cowardice in the face of the enemy, you are to be executed by rifle fire immediately, in accordance with the judgment of the military courts martial. Want a cigarette? No, thank you. But I would like a drink. Blindfold, Lieutenant? No. Thank you, Captain. Do you have anything to say before the sentence is carried out? Yes, I do. Very well. Carry on. I tried. But I'm not the man my father is. I'm sorry, and I apologize. My fear of dying got in the way of my responsibility to my men and the obligations to my commanding officers. I know now what Shakespeare meant. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. Watch this. Aim! That's when you found out that shit wasn't wasn't planned. That shit was that shit was uh yeah, like, 
he wanted to show everybody that he is not a coward and he fans still got uh shooting shoot, uh shooting got um the shooting show the show um, the fucking uh the target thing so I'm finding all me it's not fair now. Sorry for a state though. That sucks. General, he died like a man. Yes, mm. my son is not yellow. All right, Lieutenant, we gotta move this company out now on the double side. That why he told him that bullshit. I'm gonna pick up a package for you. Nah, nigga, you can't get with that shit anyway. The fuck you talking about? You should, you should knew that anything but, anything the word but is full of shit. I guess Martin finally learned his lesson. No guts, no gory. <laughs> Well, gotta go, kiddies. It's time for my shots. Fire! <laughs> yes, yes, oh yes. <laughs> Boy, I get a bang out of that. <laughs> okay, I actually meant to do that play the voice too, that. He was cool. Alright, people, that is the end of this video. Thank you for listening to me talk to it. If you, can, if you can, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you can. Let's get on with that. Alright, my peoples, thank you. See you later. Sipping up six murder minutes of sauce, I see blood from the cup that they call holy grill. Silence will sing in some mini six sauce so up a place they call heaven, that's getting a real pill. Resting up on my black on the disc, buying no suspicious suspects, and saving the souls. Sinners
the scenes I decided to distract of the ancient truths of past like Cruz and scrolls. Satan and Isaac were on the sin so sacred, created by Lucifer slaves. Sign is secluded in secret somewhere in the swamp and the land of a testament days. If in this city, each other the city, forever the city, like the sounds of the flames. Sick minded soldiers of suffering, seeking and searching to stay with the people.